Good day ladies and gentlemen, this is Sarah van Grenen aka Mr. VG and this is such a wonderful video that hopefully one day if you remember the things that I'm going to teach you in this video that I'm going to show you might save you a lot of money. So let's dive into variations of financial mathematics. Now we have got two basic types of annuities that we're looking at and you guys know it's present value and future value. So we are going to look in this video and the next two videos, we are going to look at what variations on the standard annuities is there in the CAPS curriculum. First of all, in present value, we are going to look at deferred payments. In other words, payments where they give you like a payment break or a holiday and they always make it sound so amazing. Then in the next videos we are going to look at what variations are there in terms of future value annuities like starting at the beginning of the period or stopping before the payout happens. But for this video we are specifically going to look only at the deferred payment. So when we look at the first um, sum. Let's look at this scenario. Deferred payments or payment holidays. They always make it sound amazing, okay? They would tell you, Leanne buys a house with 1.35 million and repays it over 30 years. The bank offers her a payment holiday to only start paying five months after buying the house. So how does the bank make it sound? You only have to start in like September. Ooh, five months, amazing. You can take that money and use it in so many other places. But let's look at the timeline. If I look at I'm learning 1.35 million now. Five months from now, I start making my first payment. 30 years on from there, I stop repaying. So that's where the 365 comes from because it's going to be 360 payments. But what actually happens, and this is something that you've got to understand, is that the p-value formula is always one month before we start paying. So that 1.35 million is not in the right place. That 1.35 million, if I want to use the formula, must actually be calculated forwards to get to the actual p-value of the formula because it, the formula's p-value is one month before we start our payments. So we've got a whole process to go through. Our process is that I've got to inflate the 1.35 million because the bank's going to give it to you, but not at no charge. They are actually going to inflate it by using interest rates. So that 1.35 million needs to be grown for four months and that is going to be the p-value of the um, future or the present value annuity. But now please understand why four? Simple, because I miss four payments. Payment at the end of month one, two, three and four. So there's four payments missed. Then that will then become the present value in my present value formula. So if I go and look at this now, substituting that 1.35 uh, million plus interest into my formula, my formula looks like this. And now, Again, I've got to calculate X, same as I did previously. So I'm going to jump ahead and I skip the step by dividing by the 
0.95. Please make sure that you can get this. And this leaves me with an answer for x of 1 of 12,247 rand and 9 cents. But let us think about it. Let's slow down and think about what happened. That 1.35 million. If I inflate it for four months, I actually owe the bank an extra 45,000 rand worth of interest. And the scary thing is that because it is now part of my annuity actually becomes more interest. So why would you want to do it? Well, simply because they make it sound good. So if ever you hear payment holiday, oh, only start paying next year. Remember, banks only want what's best for them, not what's best for you. So stay away from payment holidays as far as you can. But I'm not a qualified financial advisor, but I can tell you the maths makes sense that I must rather start paying that pay off that home loan as quickly as possible. But more about that in about two videos from now about how can I save a lot of money by making extra payments every month. So this is Mr. VG signing out. Watch out for our next video where we're going to look at the variations in the future value annuities. Keep well. Cheers.